pop stories in and around Owlsbury on Owlsbury News. Cancelled lack of action over fly tipping in Meadowcroft. A Meadowcroft resident has spoken out about his anger over the lack of action by Owlsbury Vale District Council to improve the area where he lives. Neil Richard says he has had enough of Owlsbury Vale District Council as after reporting pollution in Meadowcroft several times he is still awaiting a response. Neil became concerned at the state of his local park when he noticed bins were overflowing and there was clear evidence of fly tipping in the area. He said, to set the scene, I have written to AVDC on numerous occasions highlighting a general lack of care given to the area around Meadowcroft and Riverside Walk. Litter bins and dog waste bins go for weeks without being emptied. Rubbish and litter builds up on pavements and footpaths and little is done about it. In August, Neil sent the image above which shows doors thrown in the river town near to where the water pipe crosses with Meadowcroft. To the council, he said, this is an awful situation and a pathetic lack of real response from AVDC and my local councillor. This is not only a pollution issue, but dangerous. To be honest, I am sick of having to write to AVD pointing out these things out and wonder whether it's worth it. Surely someone from the council could take a look now and again. Are the contractors getting paid for a service they're not providing? Neil goes on to describe the issue. Medicroft is facing suggesting that it's not getting as much attention from the council as Owlsbury Town Centre. He said, I appreciate Medicroft is a poor relation in Owlsbury, as whilst money is spent on nice flowers in the town, we are left surrounded by rubbish bins overflowing and broken glass on the pavement. I decided to write right to my local councillor, Graham Moore, and had the following reply. Thank you for your email. I will pass on and speak to the relevant people. I also wrote again to ABDC and received the following. Thank you for getting in touch. We apologise that this was not cleared. I have asked that the contractor manager looks into why this was not completed when initially reported. The last time I walked along the river a few days ago, I found that the rubbish was still there. The 60k plus cost of Owlsbury's unused transport centre. Ten years ago, a travel information kiosk opened in Owlsbury. It quickly shut down, but has cost tens of thousands of pounds in that time. A Freedom of Information request showed £43,511.52 has been spent on electricity since 2008. The building has hardly been used and the screen inside and the one above are rarely working. Meanwhile, over £22,000 has gone on businesses rate for the building. The man who submitted the request says it makes no sense when it's never really been used. He also asked the county council if the kiosk could be rented out, making back some money. The FOI requests says the property could be let however as BCC does not own the freehold of the land, this reduces our ability to achieve a letting. The building was funded by the Department of Transport as part of a 20 million fund for the Owlsbury Public Transport Project, a spokesperson for the County Council said. The Travel Information Centre was created to act as a tourist information point and provide advice on walking, cycling and public transport travel information options within Owlsbury. It was built as part of the 
wider Aylesbury Transport Hub project and was funded by the Growth Area Funding Grant from the Government. The centre is not currently opening as constraints on the Council's budget means it does not have the resources required to staff it. Travel advice and information is now easily accessible online and bus timetables are still displayed on screens within the booth. The site is currently being used as an advertising space. There are no other immediate plans for it, but the site is being kept under review as part of the ongoing development of Owlsbury Town Centre. The council owns the building itself but not the land upon which it is constructed. As such it is not in a position to either sell or lease the land. Although discussions on its future are ongoing with the landlord. Owlsbury David Bowie statue vandalised again. The David Bowie statue in Owlsbury has been vandalised for the second time. Last night, 10th of October, blue paint was sprayed on and around the earthly messenger. Graffiti was also sprayed onto some pavements and doors and hoardings. But this isn't the first time this has happened. The statue was also vandalised in March just days after the statue was unveiled. No public money was used to pay for the memorial but it all came from a crowdfunding campaign which attracted donors from across the world. What's happening now, Owlsbury Rail District Council Street Cleaning Team is already hard at work removing graffiti from the pavements and hoardings. They've also contacted the property owner of the door that was sprayed with graffiti and for as Owlsbury promoters David and Sue Stops who spent two years raising money from Bowie fans worldwide to create the statue. David Stops commented, This is so upsetting, especially as we had Earthly Messenger professionally cleaned and whacked only yesterday by the foundry who did the original bronze sculpting. Bowie fans coming from all over the world to see the statue, this really does not do justice to the thousands of local people that support this project. We will be restoring Early Messenger to its former glory as soon as possible. AVDC has reported the incident to Thames Valley Police and asked them to view CCTV footage from the town centre to see if the, the perpetrators can be identified and brought to justice. Councillor Julie Ward, Cabinet Member for Civic Amendments, said, I'm shocked and saddened by this mindless vandalism in Owlsbury. Not only is it incredibly antisocial, but council tax payers will also end up having to foot the bill for the cleanup. I'm also mindful of how upsetting this type of vandalism must be for our residents, visitors and the crowd funders of the earthly messenger statue. Fortunately, incidences such as this are rare in Owlsbury and I hope that all traces of the Vandalism can be removed shortly. Yep, mindless. And now it is going to cost taxpayers money because it'll be the council that are having to clean it and it's going to have to pay the contractor to do it. So they're costing you, the taxpayer, money. Two boys in court over Owlsbury stabbing. After a 17-year-old was stabbed in Owlsbury, two boys are in court yesterday. A 14-year-old was accused of attempted murder. A 15-year-old was charged with wounding with intent. Yesterday's sentencing is due to happen at Owlsbury Crown Court. We will bring you more news and updates as soon as we get it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave comments below. Oh, don't forget to share and like our videos. Thank you.